the presence of veins and layering, which often runs at an angle. During casting, layers are possible, but they would be close to horizontal. The existence of quarries where blocks with characteristic tool marks are still found. And the blocks themselves bear transportation marks. The rear faces of the blocks always have the appearance of rough, natural stone. The blocks are covered with tool marks that would not be needed in casting. Tool marks are present not only on the visible faces, but also on the sides. And it is clearly visible that the degree of finishing increases as it approaches the joint. If the blocks had been cast, the surface would be uniform. There are no examples of material flowing into joints. Instead, there are specific elements designed to interlock the block. They may or may not be present, depending on the need. There are no cases of material penetrating into lateral cavities. There are no overflows of one block onto another. There is no deformation of the upper block. There is no deformation of the lower courses of masonry. And what is presented as block impressions is nothing more than the result of forming the bedding joints. All blocks can be set in place in a solid state. There are no examples of reverse angled sides. There are no examples of joints made against irregular or bulging surfaces. All surfaces were prepared and are smooth. The stages of creating protrusions by removing material around a selected area are clearly visible. Blocks show rigging recesses both on their sides and on the facade beneath the protrusions. Such recesses would not be needed if the block had been cast directly in place. Rock outcrops across Peru, made of different types of stone, were worked in the same way as the blocks, following the same principles. If they were able to work the bedrock, they were able to work the blocks. Unfinished sections of masonry show the original shape of the blocks. They have excess volume that required significant correction. Multiple analyses show full correspondence with natural stone. If they possessed such a casting mixture, why are there no mortared masonry structures? Blocks could be separated by mortar joints, creating something similar to polygonal masonry but faster. There is not a single human or animal footprint. And what is presented as such is the result of chemical erosion and is found worldwide.